Well, eczema is the most common skin condition in Singapore. So eczema sufferers have uh, recurrent itchy red rashes on the skin that is normally associated with very dry skin. So these patients after constant scratching will also develop what we call dispigmentation on the skin, either brown spots on the areas or white patches where the rashes were. Yeah, well, intrinsic factors are factors that we are born with. That means the, the genes that a person is born with. We know that there are many genes controlling whether a person develops eczema in life, but one of the most important genes is this gene called the filaguin gene. So the filaguin gene is responsible for making the filaguin protein. And the filaguin protein is an essential building block in the skin. So without this filaguin protein, your skin is no longer as good as it should be. That means it is not a good barrier anymore, thus making the skin more susceptible to environmental irritants like harsh soaps, constant washing. Well, extrinsic factors are factors that are around us in the environment. So when we talk about the Singaporean context, we're talking about the heat. We're talking about us sweating because of the heat. Uh, we also talk about the house dust mite, which is the most important allergen in the tropics. Well, eczema is the most common skin condition in Singapore, and we actually have one of the highest rates of eczema in the world. So based on a study done in 2002, one in five school-going children in Singapore do suffer from eczema. Well, eczema definitely decreased what we call the quality of life, for the sufferers. So for example, in children, for those who suffer from moderate to severe eczema, I noticed that a number of them do need to miss school to recover at home and they have to choose their CCAs carefully. And because of how they look and what they can or cannot do, they might get some teasing and bullying in school. So not only do the children suffer, the carers of these children also face a lot of stress. So for adults, it's missing work, taking MCs, not being able to meet deadlines, so um, in general, I think eczema does have a negative impact on the quality of life. Well, I think the job of the moisturizer is to replace what we term the natural moisturizing factors. And the natural moisturizing factors is the breakdown product of the filaguin protein. So it's, it's important that your moisturizers should contain um, amino acids like arginine, sodium PC as well as ceramides. So there are different moisturizers that do have these amino acids. For example, Cetaphil Restoridum does provide the essential amino acids like arginine and sodium PCA. So as for a wash, ideally it should also contain these amino acids that the skin is lacking. So the Cetaphil Restoridum wash can also be used to treat um, eczema patients.